So our hot topic today is hydroquinone. And I promise this is my last video where I'm gonna scare you about not using it correctly. But we said if we use hydroquinone incorrectly, we can either land up with darker pigmentation called hyperpigmentation, and it to be worse than what we started treating, or we can land up with hypopigmentation where we have the loss of color. Now we have seen a condition that the doctors have actually called or named confetti hypopigmentation. And confetti pigmentation is literally mostly found in a Fitzpatrick 4, 5 and 6, which is our darker skins, that's been using hydroquinone incorrectly. And they end up with little white patches on the skin that literally looks like little confetti dots. And that is then where they have loss of color. So those are snow white dots all over where they've applied the hydroquinone incorrectly. It's normally where they've used it too long or the dose was too high for a long period of time. And that's then what they end up with. The scary thing is that there's nothing we can do once we've lost that pigment. Once that melanocyte has said, that's it guys, no more, I'm not making pigment, then we're kind of stuck. Probably the best way to actually reverse that is by going for permanent makeup where they match your natural skin tone and then they can fill in those little white dots that you find on the skin. So that's my last scary you about hydroquinone. Hydroquinone is great, it's very effective, but you have to go to your aesthetic GP or your dermatologist, get it prescribed by your doctor, follow the directions step by step. Avoid sun as much as you can if you live in a sunny country and you have to be super good with reapplying your sunscreen during the day. If you follow directions, if you do what you need to do, you will have a good effect on your hyperpigmentation.